Hey guys, Will here, and today I'm going to be doing a video on the Apple Watch Series 9 in 2024. So basically, um, this is my mother's Apple Watch. Um, that's why it's the 41 millimeter size, so it's a smaller watch. But I'm going to basically just be comparing it to other Apple Watches. So I have Series 0, Series 3, I've got Series 2, uh, Series 6. So let's go ahead and compare them. So after I compare the colors of the Starlight, I'm going to compare a few of the features and then I'll basically tell you if I think it's worth it to get a Series 9 or if you should get a Series 6 like my Apple Watch. So let's go ahead and get started. So these are all of the like types of colors that I have that are similar. So um, this is the Series 9 right here in the Starlight color. Then this is Series 2 in silver. This is Series 0 in gold. And this is Series 3 in gold. The Series 3 had that weird gold where it's like a mix between gold and rose gold. That's why it looks more pink. And this Series 3 doesn't have a screen. It's basically gutted because um, it was water damage. But anyways, so as you can see, um, it's hard to do this in this lighting. Let me try to shield it a little bit. There we go. So as you can see, this silver versus Starlight and as you can see, Starlight's a lot more like champagne, kind of. It's a little more gold looking, but it's not as gold as the actual gold. And this Series Zero does have a lot of chipped paint on the back. Just ignore that. Um, it's definitely not as gold as gold. And then, obviously, it's not as like rose gold, kind of, as the Series 3 gold, which is also the gold that's on the Series uh, 4 up to the 6. So, yeah, um, let's go ahead and compare some features. So the most major change, in my opinion, is the bigger display size. And it's kind of hard to tell with this face, and I don't have the password. So I can't, like, switch the face. But um, once it goes to this password thing, as you can see, the display is a lot bigger than the Series 6. Um, the Series 7, 8, and 9 all have this bigger display, but it is a big feature coming from the Series 6, which is what I have. And here's the screen compared to an older Apple Watch. This is the Series 2, and as you can see... The screen is just a lot bigger than the Series 2. As you can see, there's just a lot more room. And it looks a whole lot different. So obviously the Series 9 is the newest Apple Watch. So you're going to get a lot. Um, you're going to get basically all the features. All the newest features and stuff. Um, and you can get them cheaper on Amazon right now. Like through Apple, you can get them for $3.99. But... Through Amazon, I've seen them closer to two. I've seen I've seen ones just like this, you know, Starlight uh, GPS, uh, forty one millimeter for like two ten, two twenty. Um, Amazon renewed, which I got my Series Six Amazon renewed, and it's in really good condition. The screen has one slight scratch up there, but other than that, it's in great condition. The sides have basically no marks on them. Uh, the battery still lasts, and yeah, overall, it's a great condition watch. I definitely recommend getting an Amazon renewed watch instead of buying, you know, eBay refurbished or just straight from Apple or Apple refurbished. But yeah, I guess that's basically it for this video. So I would recommend a Series 9 if you're looking for, you know, the best Apple watch and you can afford to spend a little more money. Um, go check out my video on the Series 0 in 2024 because surprisingly, this Apple watch is pretty good still today and go check out the video on the series two um i probably would like this watch a whole lot more if it was a bigger size screen because this is a 38 millimeter and it just it's, it's just hard to press anything basically it's hard to use but anyways go check out both those videos i'll have both of them linked in the description below i also have the video on this in 2024 linked in the description below and yeah i hope you all enjoy it even please please smash that like button um, please subscribe so we can hit a thousand subscribers before my birthday, which is August 11th, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.